Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, October 23rd, 2023, and we are working our way through uh, the Excel uh, workbook. Now, there's just a couple of things that I want to go over with you. So um, the first thing is if you, I'm gonna share the screen, second, here we go. So if you take a look at our Moodle page, um, there's a couple of things. First of all, there's an extra little assignment for Computer Science 1010 students uh, that I recorded on Friday. And the reason for that is Computer Science 1010, of course, has a programming component that ES1060 does not. And also, COSC 1010 is a four credit class and ES 1060 is a three credit class. So I'm just bringing this up to you so that, because I, I don't want you to think I'm picking on you because you're computer science majors. I just want you to know that it's just a valid part of that course. But basically, uh, if you take a look at the screen, the stuff that I put at the bottom of last week's material is pretty much aimed right now at the computer science 1010 folk. So we have a lecture. And we have two videos, how to write a macro in Excel and visual basic in Excel, and then also a file because um, I maybe I'll just pull this up and show it to you if we'll uh, if it will allow me to. The the video actually just shows you computer science 1010 folks how to write a macro, which is just an automated series of commands. So similar to a program, but not exactly the same. So it's it's a it's an automated coding step uh, rather than being code itself. So let me see if I can get it to open because it sometimes doesn't want to do that. And then there is another uh, another function I want. There it is. There is another function I wanted you guys to work with on um, on the coding stuff. So we're up for a minute. There we go. And then I go back to try that. There we go. All right. So I'll go ahead and share the screen. You'll you'll see the reason why I shared this data with you in just a moment. Um, it is entirely possible in Excel to type in all of these columns and rows, but as you see, there's approximately 500 rows of data. So it would take quite a long time for you to input that using your keyboard. So uh, in order to sort of expedite that process, I've already created the worksheet for you, or I've copied the worksheet for you. I didn't create it, I got it uh, from an assignment um, online, but I put that up there for you so that you, um, so that you would not have to worry about doing that coding or that just data entry on your own. The other thing is if this becomes, um, if this becomes an issue for you, we may address this later, but any data that you create in Excel can be transferred over to any other type of a program, especially in the Microsoft Office suite, but um, there's lots of opportunities to do that. So anyway, for everybody, uh, by this Friday, I want you guys to do the homework from chapters uh, one and two in our textbook. And uh, of course, chapters one and two are posted up to our uh, Moodle page. Now, the homework from chapters one and two is really just problems 2.1 through 2.20, 2.24. The homework from uh, chapter one or the exercises in chapter one are really nothing that I can grade. But I wanted to reiterate, as it says here, I want you to do that in a single workbook. So if you need to create different sheets in Excel, uh, please do so. And if you recall, when you look at a sheet like this, if you need more data, you can just um, add data by clicking the plus tab over here and creating a new worksheet. So that'll give you a new blank worksheet. You can right click on it and rename it and maybe you call that new sheet. And then you'll see that it will turn up that way. All right, so um, this is just a really great way to keep your data organized. And then of course it helps me because I can um, grade your stuff all at once. But I want you, I shouldn't say I want, absolutely require that the assignment be submitted 
as an Excel worksheet because I have to work with it. And if it's submitted in any other form, um, I just I just can't manipulate it. I can't see what you've done um, in the same way that I can if you submit an Excel worksheet. Um, and then once again, just to reiterate, um, no Google Docs. If you if you work in Google Docs, just can't guarantee if it's going to have all the functionality. Because quite honestly, the stuff that we're doing in chapters one and two of Excel this week up until Friday uh, is pretty much all that most people ever use Excel for. So you can imagine we still have seven weeks of the semester. We're going to put Excel through its paces. And I don't believe that Google Docs has that same degree of functionality. So please just start using Excel. All right, now the assignment for Computer Science 1010 that's also due this Friday is just to um, adjust, your, adjust your ribbons in Excel so that you have the developer tab, which all of us will do later when we start working with macros. But uh, I just wanna make sure that you're able to do that and that there aren't any hitches. So we are gonna be using Visual Basic. It's VBA, it's a Visual Basic uh, programming language but it's Visual Basic for applications. And Visual Basic is a language that's been around for quite a while, so it's pretty fundamental. Um, however, there is a rumor uh, that you can use Python in Excel as an application. Um, and I've tried to run that rumor down, and I guess the best answer I have is we can't use it here at Northwest College. But it would be super, um, and I keep getting, I, I'm like on a listserv now to get emails about updates on when Python is going to become generally available. So I think it's available in some versions of Excel, but not the version that we have, and it's not widely distributed yet. So at some point, you'll be able to program in Python in Excel, which will be super exciting and um, go along with the rest of your programming languages as well. But in the meantime, Visual Basic is a great object-oriented computer programming language. So the VBA will work out very, very well. All right then, so what we're gonna do, the other thing is I wanted to show you, I have uh, chapters one and two of our textbook posted up here so you can take a look at everything. So um, you'll probably notice if you click on that, it's a PDF file and it's um, rotated just because of the way our printer works. And so you'll have to rotate it. You can just use this little button up at the top that shows a, a counterclockwise arrow and it will rotate for you so that it's in this kind of a form so that you don't have to try to read it sideways. Um, the other thing is uh, by copyright law, I cannot put up the whole book. So I will put up chapters three and four, but I have them hidden right now just because I don't want to um, violate any copyright laws and I don't want to get in, I don't want anybody to well, I mean, it's too, I, if you want to work ahead, I guess is what I'm getting at. I do have the physical book in my office. You're welcome to borrow it. But um, when I when we get done with this week, I'll take down Excel's chapters one and two, and I'll put up three and four. And by then, hopefully everybody will have a method of getting the rest of the chapters. So after we get done with the exercises in chapter two, um, and we move on to chapter three and four, we'll start working with if structures just like we did in MATLAB. So that'll be like the first step out of normal spreadsheet operations. And then later on, we'll just learn some other functionalities and then we'll learn how to write macros, which like I said, is a series of code, a series of coding strokes that will automate different things. And the example is basically like when you have 500 lines of data like this, this is the type of data that a mortgage company might get or a bank that does lending. And basically they get new data every week, pretty much to see if loans are delinquent, if they're current or if they're fully paid. And they need to restructure that every single week because somebody might get caught up, somebody might miss a payment, somebody might go bankrupt, you know, whatever. So um, you really don't want to go through 500 lines of code. You sort of want to look for certain markers in that code. And that's what macros are going to allow us to do. All right. So basically, the other thing I wanted to let you know, um, this week, November 13th through 17th, I may be off campus the 13th, 14th, and 15th. I'm not sure yet, but if I am, I'll record the Zoom lectures. I'll record lectures on Zoom for Monday and Wednesday, 
and then I will be available for Zoom for our regular lab session so that we can keep working on stuff. So just that I won't be in the classroom with you, I'll just be Zooming. So you would be able to go to the classroom and work from there if you want to, or work from wherever you're comfortable working, and then I'll just be online. So Derek and I will be online that day. So I'm kind of kidding, Derek, but always there. Hey, Michaela and Stephen. Good. We got a couple more. So um, anyway, that's our process uh, today on Monday in lab. This is going to be your big opportunity to finish all of the work from chapters one and two. Um, on Wednesday, I'll start the new material um, on the if structures. We won't have an assignment for that until the following week. However, I'll get started on Wednesday after I make sure that nobody has any questions or big issues that they need me to help them resolve. But if you use the lab time, if you use the time today, uh, which I'm going to give you some time to just work on it this morning, and then you use the lab time this afternoon, it's quite likely that you'll be able to get it done if, if Excel is familiar to you. It's, people are all over the place with that. So I shouldn't say that. I should say if Excel is familiar to you, you may be able to get it done, and then you won't have any more assignments for a little bit. So, um, so there we go. So having said that, at this point, do you guys have any questions? All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I will stay on Zoom, but I'm going to quit recording, and if I'll just pause the recording so that if anybody does come up with any questions during this time, I will uh, record the question and answer to that. But basically, get started. You've got chapters one and two on your, uh, on your Moodle page. Get started with your homework and ask me questions as they occur. All right, everybody, so I'm going to stop recording, but I'm still here. So uh, one of your classmates just made a point uh, that I want to be really clear about. Exercise 2.1, for example, just ask you to open and close an Excel spreadsheet. There's nothing that you can really submit for that. Just go through it. But throughout Chapter 2, just submit the things that you can submit. Like if you need to change a cell or name a worksheet or any of the exercises. But yeah, there will be some of them like 2.1 that there's really nothing to submit. Just go through those things to make sure you know how to do them. All right, everybody, that is it for today. Um, I got some good questions from the class and I think everything's on this recording. And if not, don't hesitate to ask. Uh, I'll be in my office all day today. And once again, you can always use Calendly to schedule an appointment with me if you want to visit via, via Zoom or if you want to come to my office. So uh, other than that, have a great day. And we'll see you this afternoon in lab.